City leaders say Asheville police have been hanging on to the past for way too long. They're referring to video recordings taken at public events for years. Now tonight, city council is expected to take steps to clear out some of that archive. News 13's John Lee is live in downtown Asheville. And John, one councilman says there's no reason much of that material should be kept at all. That's right. Uh, if you have been to a public event, especially in the downtown area in recent years, there is a chance that you were recorded and that you were on file in the police department. And the city council meeting just underway. Council is considering steps that could help make sure these benign recordings where there was no criminal activity involved are deleted. While enforcing the law, Asheville police have archived dozens of recordings. But Councilman Cecil Bothwell says many of the events still on file weren't eventful at all. If there's no criminal activity, I don't think we should be keeping records. For example, officers were seen with cameras last year recording a Moral Monday demonstration downtown. Very important moment in our American history. Bothwell says the gun rights rally was also on camera. The councilman who's on the city public safety committee says he understands the law enforcement value of rolling on such events, but he doesn't support storing that footage indefinitely. We saw with, say, the Boston bomber, you know, they, they found those fellows on public videotape. Um, but then if there's nothing happens, I don't see any reason to keep it. According to APD, there are 100 videos and audio recordings in various formats stored in the forensic section of the police department. City Council is expected to impose a time limit on its shelf life. After 30 days, if there is no criminal activity, we can dispose of the tapes. And th I think the, the language is we can dispose of the tapes. I want to insist that we will dispose of the tapes. Last August, one citizen filed a complaint with the Office of Professional Standards, saying he saw an officer videotaping the crowd at a Moral Monday protest and contending it was in violation of the Civil Liberties Resolution passed by City Council. It may have raised the issue once again, but as I say, I, I've worked on this for four solid years. Bothwell says with the increasing use of police body cameras in the mountains and across the country, what happens to the data collected by cops will be an important issue in many cities. I think it's much better for everybody if we get rid of it. And I did speak to both Councilman Bothwell as well as fellow Councilman Jan Davis. Both agree that they believe that this 30-day time limit should pass without a hitch that council meeting just underway. Live in downtown Asheville, John Lee, News 13.